There's a thing lurking in the shadows of your daily life, contributing to institutional change, appreciating the validity of multiple ways of knowing, and promoting reflection on the role of knowledge production processes, values, and uncertainties. Epistemology, where philosophers ponder how we know what we know, or if we know anything at all. The branch of philosophy which studies knowledge. It's the academic equivalent of asking, are you sure you're sure? Traditionally, knowledge was defined as belief with a fancy tuxedo of truth and justification, but even that's now up for debate. From empiricists insisting on evidence to rationalists lost in thought, skeptics shrugging their shoulders, pragmatists rolling up their sleeves, and relativists insisting it's all relative anyway, epistemology is the philosophical mosh pit where ideas crowd surf and occasionally get drop kicked. Justification, truth, and belief. Together, these form a traditional tripartite definition of knowledge, often summarized as, knowledge is justified true belief. Leading schools of thought, rationalism, and empiricism differ in their approach to knowledge. Rationalism asserts that knowledge comes from reasoning and intellect, while empiricism emphasizes sensory experience as the source of Every kind of science assumes that the knowledge gained through observation can be trusted. Epistemology provides a framework for evaluating the validity and justification of knowledge claims. It helps distinguish between justified beliefs and mere opinions. This is useful for critically assessing information encountered in the media, from authorities, or in everyday discussions. There are other schools of epistemology as well, so don't be afraid. Ultimately, epistemologies are theories about human knowledge, but humans have two main sources of knowledge, their mind and their body. Therefore, many would argue that we can divide epistemologies according to whether someone accepts the knowledge of the mind, that of the body, or both. Key figures in the field include Plato, René Descartes, David Hume, Immanuel Kant, John Locke, and Edmund Gettier. Flawed or incomplete knowledge can have dire consequences, leading to critical errors and failures. The quest for reliable knowledge is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a vital instinct for survival and progress. It's about understanding not just what we know, but also how we come to know it. That's epistemology in a nutshell. If you're fascinated by the quest for knowledge, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.